Hi, I'm Amy Carpenter and this is Around Town with Amy. Today I'm at the Decorative Arts Center that is coming up next on Around Town with Amy. Sure Shot Directional Boring is proud to support Around Town with Amy. We are the region's trusted directional boring and hydro excavation service experts. With more than 20 years experience, SureShot Directional Boring ensures projects will be handled skillfully, safely, on time, and within budget. Contact us today at 740-689-1221 or online at SureShotBoring.com. Hi, my name is Josh Lazier with the Lancaster Fire Department, here to talk to you about Narcan. Narcan is the light in the darkness of the opioid epidemic. It's a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdoses. It can very quickly restore normal respirations to a person whose breathing has slowed or stopped as a result of overdosing with heroin or prescription opioid pain medications. It can be carried by police, EMTs, firefighters, even family members. While Narcan stops the effects of an overdose, it does not stop addiction and is not a cure. If there are opioids in your home, Narcan should be there too. Narcan is considered to be a very safe drug and can save lives. And in Ohio, it's available without a prescription. Your life matters and we're here to help because you matter. This message is brought to you by the Fairfield County Adam H. Board. Pet Sitting Service is your trusted pet service in the Lancaster area. Pet owners can rest assured knowing that Hank's Pet Sitting Service will treat your fur babies like one of their own. We specialize in a home away from home atmosphere to keep your pet comfortable. From drop-in visits, dog walking, or potty breaks for your pooch, Hank's Pet Sitting Service is here to help. To book an appointment, contact Hank's Pet Sitting Service today. In the heart of Lancaster is a hidden gem known as the Decorative Arts Center. One of the missions of the Decorative Arts Center is to engage the community with innovative and stimulating exhibitions, and they are doing just that with their Ohio, The Start of It All, and The Art of the Hidden Pictures Puzzles exhibits. Okay, FBI officials destroyed many of Johnny Appleseed's original orchards. Ohio, The Start of It All, showcases world-changing Ohio innovations in dozens of original works of children's picture book art. The exhibition pairs original works of art from beloved picture books with facts about Ohio history and innovations from the earthworks of Ohio's indigenous peoples to aviation and astronautical science to the creation of comic book superheroes that have shaped popular culture in the U.S. and around the world. For example, did you know since 1979, Kings Island in Cincinnati has served as home to the Beast, the world's longest wooden roller coaster. In 1899, the first police car was used in Akron, boasting a top speed of 18 miles per hour. In 1904, Harry Myers received the first speeding ticket for going 12 miles per hour in an automobile on West 3rd Street in Dayton. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong from Wapakoneta became the first person to walk on the moon. Ohio was home to eight U.S. presidents, four of whom died in office. The Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C. was designed by Maya Lin Ying, a 21-year-old who studied sculpture at Ohio University. Her design was chosen from 1,500 entries. Judith Oppenheimer, Director of Marketing and Outreach, explains how they wanted to make the connection between art and picture books. They also wanted to give some tips from the artist as well. I'm using acrylic paint to illustrate Ohio State insect, the ladybug. Each room has an iPad and they reflect the different art styles that the artist could use in creating the work, whether it be crayon or tempera, collage, watercolor. So the curator of the exhibit, who's a gifted artist himself, was able to show 
the different styles. In the lower gallery of the Decorative Arts Center is an exhibition of highlights for children magazines, hidden picture puzzle art made famous by the iconic children's publisher headquartered in Columbus, Ohio. These hidden pictures have been a famous feature with kids since the first issue in 1946. Lisa Swartz remembers growing up with the Highlights magazine. So they used to have these public sales and my dad was notorious for just going to those sales and buying a whole bunch of different highlights and weekly readers and different books. He would go to those public sales a lot of times as well and just buy bins of books and donate them to the different schools. As a kid, we were all just doing the highlights puzzle for fun as we waited at the dentist office. But there are many educational benefits to picture puzzles. They are expertly crafted and full of challenges. According to Highlights Magazine, there are five benefits of hidden picture puzzles. They promote attention to detail. They increase vocabulary. They instill good work habits. They develop self-confidence and they improve visual perception. So kids are bound to stumble across something. Recently, the Decorative Arts Center had Christine French Colley, the editor-in-chief of Highlights Magazine, come to talk. She discussed the why, what, and how of hidden pictures. Although the puzzles look deceptively simple to create, hiding the objects is a special skill every hidden picture puzzle illustrator must acquire. She also shared some secrets of how artists hide hidden objects within pictures, and she shared her insights into the art and psychology of the classic hidden pictures puzzle. But I think there are a lot of reasons why Highlights is still around and why we are still relevant, and one is our authenticity, our relationship with kids. I think we really are the publisher with the most authentic dialogue with children. And, um, you know, we listen to our readers, we, we study childhood, which we call a short, sweet season, and uh, we know what kids need to grow to become curious, creative, caring, and confident, or their best selves. Christine shares that they have tried to keep this excitement alive over the years and have now added a digital app. Another excitement for readers came on July 30th, 2019. In 2019, we uh, made the Guinness Book of World Records for being the creators of the longest hidden picture puzzle ever. And I think it's 16 feet long, 16 and 9 inches long, and it has 280 hidden objects, I believe. If you would like to check out these two exciting exhibits at the Decorative Arts Center, they are free to the public and run through December 31st, 2022. The Decorative Arts Center is open Wednesday through Friday from 11 to 4 and Friday and Saturday from 1 to 4. Our hope is that everyone walks away with a little more understanding and knowledge of what a great state Ohio is. It answers the question, why Ohio? You can read more about the Decorative Arts Center in my story, Ohio, The Start of It All, in the October 24th edition of The Town Crier. Thank you for joining me on Around Town with Amy.